photography is this thing where uh, we take a picture and it's a picture of something happening now in the moment. But the second that photograph is printed and gets circulated or stored or whatever happens to it, it's from another time. And like it can be recontextualized to mean something totally different. So there, that sort of um, snafu uh, with meaning and context of the photographic image, I think is very similar to how we experience history and how it's accounted for, where we experience it very differently at different times. But what gets accounted seems very linear when that's not the way time works. When looking at my work, you'll see photographic images that make you ask questions about what you're really looking at. And I hope um, sort of question your relationship to the images and the world around you. Using photography to sort of like exploit that relationship, whether it's through personal stories or political stories or how the two intersect, that's the relationship between the past and the present in my work. My method is that I don't have one. Like I use the term archival very loosely, if at all. A lot of the work comes from cutouts from old magazines or encyclopedias or I'll buy used photographs online or sometimes I'll deep back into photographs I've taken before, like casual images with going back into my iPhone history. I think the takeaway is destabilization um, and that my work will sort of make them ask questions about what they're looking at and their own relationships to photographic images and sort of like how they sort they when we think about something we think of the image of it first um, so the photograph has a lot of power and influence over us.